Hey, what's up guys? Lance here. Uh, this is my first video on how to fix a car. Uh, today we're going to be doing an AC recharge on my 2009 Lexus IS250. Um, I've been having a lot of issues lately where my air conditioning isn't blowing as cold. I don't know if it's because the weather right now in Florida is like 107 degrees or because I actually need to recharge my air. So today I'm going to show you how to, uh, what noise is that? You're going to want to get yourself some gloves. Uh, disposable gloves will work, but because it's hot, you might want to use something else. I'm using batting gloves because why not? So the, uh, the first thing you want to do is open up your hood latch here. Come to the front. And you want the engine to be a little bit lukewarm. Uh, once you pop your hood, you want to make sure to take the uh, hood top thing off of there uh, so you can get better access to all the uh, fun stuff going on. My low pressure index is actually all the way in the back uh, over there, so I think I'm going to remove this panel as well. So, uh, yeah, just make sure that you're wearing gloves. I let it cool down for about an hour as well before I worked, so it shouldn't be too bad, but just for some extra precaution and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, this is the air conditioning recharge that we're going to be using. It's the Easy, uh, easy Chill Auto AC Recharge, the uh, R134A. Uh, it's not the most expensive one on the market because I'm currently on uh, college funds. You know how that works. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be putting this in there. Not sure how well you can see. My, um, I don't really have a, like an external light or anything, but my recharge is all the way back there. Um, yeah, there we go. That little tube right there is where my recharge is. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put on the batting gloves uh, just because the engine is very hot for me still for some odd reason. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to turn the car on and turn recirculate on. What that does is it pretty much just allows none of the air to escape, all that goes in, all that happy fun stuff. But I don't know the uh, science of it. I'm not a scientist, but yeah. Uh, before you put it in, notice that this right here sort of comes back. You want to pull this back, put it on, and then release it and give it sort of a little bit of a tug. You don't want to yank anything out, but just make sure it's secure. Okay, just to give you a better view of what's going on, I'm not really sure if you can see that well, um, but I'm going to feed this through there, under there, bring it out here. Because what you want to do is you want to turn on the car first before you lock it into place. Let's zoom out a bit here. You want to turn the air conditioning on full blast. Make sure that recirculate is on. That's the one that's got the arrow going in, uh, in the arrow thing. Okay, perfect. All right, now the engine's running. I'm gonna attach it on, check the levels, see where we're at and see where we gotta be. Okay guys, so we have it all hooked up now. Uh, the attachment will not go on unless the engine is turned on and the air conditioning is running. You'll hear the compressor turn off a couple times on and off, that's just your air conditioning working through it. Uh, so now I have it attached. It's uh, getting a nice reading for me over there. Uh, let's see what it's got. So uh, as of now, it's reading that I have a low level of um, freeze cool air stuff in my car. Okay, so before you charge your air conditioning system, you want to make sure that you, you shake this up a little bit just so all the uh, contents uh, move, I guess. Uh, I didn't shake it yet, so I'm gonna do it right now. I, th I found that if you flip it over to the, uh, this side right here, it works a little bit better when trying to put it on. You want to uh, press this lever right here. Let it fill. And keep checking every time you press it. You don't want to press too much. It's only short bursts of about, I don't know, two seconds. You want to look, just check it. Now I'm a little bit past low. Press it again. All right. All right, now I'm a bit under 30. Now where you want to be is about 32, 34 for this kind of installation. You don't want to overcharge it because then the system won't properly heat up or cool down and you'll create bigger issues with your engine than you intended for. See where we're at. We're at about 31 right now. Let's just give it one last push. Perfect. All right, that's exactly where we want to be. The engine is perfectly filled, well not the engine, the air conditioning system is perfectly filled. You want to disconnect the, uh, the bottle right here. First thing you want to do is just unhook it, like that, take it out. So 
just like that. Alright guys, so it's as simple as that. Um, all you have to do is fill it up, put it together, and then uh, get really sweaty in the process of doing so. Uh, we're just going to put these panels back on really quickly. Simple as that, you just recharge your air conditioning. $150-ish job or something like that. Uh, for the price of $32.99 or whatever I bought that for at Walmart. I can't really remember, but whatever. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment. Um, I could do more installs of stuff if you guys really want me to. I can go and uh, just, uh, yeah, whatever you guys want, I'll do it. So uh, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you next time.